What's going on YouTube? It's your guy Darren, of course, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. On this channel, we focus on the fragrances and the fashion. Guys, welcome to 2021. Uh, I think this is going to be the second video. Yeah, the second video that I've released in the year of 2021. So thank you guys for the year of 2020. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm glad that it's over. But thank you guys for uh, subscribing to the channel and watching the content. I sincerely appreciate it. So as I said on this channel, we focus on fragrances and fashion. So if you're interested in how you can look good and smell great each and every day, then go ahead and click the subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and take a quick second as well to click that bell icon that way you get notified every time I release new content on the channel. All right, guys, so on today's video, I'm going to be talking about some hidden gems. In my opinion, hidden gems are fragrances that are good fragrances, but they just don't get a lot of talk like some other fragrances may get. So these are going to be fragrances that you don't hear as much about. But again, I want to share some light on these fragrances. I'm not saying that they've never been talked about before, but they don't get talked about as much as some more popular fragrances, of course. So I'm gonna be shedding some light today on six fragrances in my collection that I feel are hidden gems that you know I would definitely recommend to you guys. So if you wanna hear what those six fragrances are, you already know how we get down, man. We've been doing this for a minute. Keep it locked right here. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in, man. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video and talk about these six fragrances. I'm enjoying some coffee this morning. How many of you guys haven't been watching the running joke on this channel now is that uh, some guy came in the comment section and said that he didn't believe that I had coffee in my cup. I don't know. Again, I still can't figure out why or what advantage I would gain by lying about having coffee in my cup. And there was actually uh, somebody that commented on his comment and was like, man, y'all catch everything. Really? really? I mean, because that day I was drinking out of an actual coffee mug, so that means you could actually see through the mug. Now, I don't know about you, but that's more impressive than anything I've ever talked about on this channel. <laughs> but anyway, man, back to the fragrances so the first fragrance up on the list today man i am very you know impressed by this fragrance for what you pay for the price this one is from the banana republic house and this one is called black walnut legend black walnut legend now, i have seen a few people uh, uh mention this fragrance here more as of late more recently but again man i'm telling you this one right here if you haven't heard it is compared to creed aventus and i have worn this uh, a couple times to kind of get a feel for it it is similar uh, but I would put this in the uh, the inspired by category because to me when I put it in the inspired by category you can tell it's definitely in that in the realm of that fragrance but uh, may not be quite similar enough to call it quite a clone but you know that's just you know my definition of how I you know uh, compare these fragrances but this one is a good one guys it has some bergamot in here some black pepper uh some geranium leather as well and yeah man you're definitely gonna get those vibes of creed aventus when you spray this to me this is uh closer to uh mont blanc uh explorer you know again both fragrances you can tell have the aventus dna but not you know not quite a clone in my opinion like i would say uh, Club De Nui and Tense Man is definitely a clone. It's closer to Aventus than that, uh, than those two fragrances. But again, this is a good one, guys, for the price. I think this one probably you'll find between that $40 to $50 price point. I will leave a link where you can find it. Uh, and when I worn it, I got about that five, five and a half, maybe six hour uh, longevity on it. So it's pretty good for the price. Again, Hidden Gem, not many people are really talking about this fragrance, I'm sure. It will get more attention as we move into the year 2021. Uh, but again, a good one I think you should check out if you like the Aventus DNA, but may not be a fan of the Aventus prices. This one from Banana Republic is called Black Walnut Legend. All right, guys, and next up on the list, I am uh, going to go to the House of Parfums de Marley. 
I know it may be hard for some of you to believe that there is actually a hidden gem in that house because you know, typically and generally speaking, the house of Parfums de Marley is a relatively popular um, niche house, but this one doesn't get as much shine as I feel like it deserves, and this one is called Darley. Darley from Parfums de Marley. Again, I know some of you have heard of this one, but this is not talked about like the Leightons and the Carlisles and the Harris of the world, and man, I'm telling you, this is a good one. You know, to me, I really compare this to uh, one of my favorite Creed fragrances, and that is uh, Creed's Original Santal. If you look at the note breakdown, there's some very similar notes in Darley and, and um, Original Santal. You have some cinnamon in this, you have some sandalwood, some tonka bean, lavender. So, again, slightly aromatic fragrance, but it has those warmer spices in it. I really, really like this stuff. Very, very similar to Creed's Original Santal. So if you are a fan of uh, Original Santal, I'm sure you'll be a fan of this one as well. A hidden gem in my collection from the House of Parfums. And Marley, this is Darling. All right, guys, and next up on the list today, we are going to the House of Lacoste, uh, which is a house that I haven't talked much about on this channel, but I will be talking more about it uh, in the upcoming months. But this fragrance is called Lacoste Loam Intense. Lacoste Loam Intense. Now I will tell you uh, off top, I'm a huge fan of the original Lacoste Loam. That's an amazing scent, but this one is very, very good as well. Uh, the Intense version. Yeah, you get some, uh, it's kind of uh, fruity in the opening. You have some, I think some grapefruit in here, some pineapple. It has a lot of different uh, accords in this fragrance that really, you know, make it um, they really stand out to me when you talk about designer fragrances at this price point. It has a, a rhubarb note, uh, which that's a note that's not used as often uh, in fragrances, but again, gives it a different kind of sweet, spicy vibe. I like this stuff, man, again, for the price. And there haven't, hasn't been a whole lot of talk about this one. Again, that's why I put it on the hidden gem list. But if you like a nice... Uh, designer fragrance that you're going to be able to get at a nice price that nobody uh, or not a lot of people are talking about. Uh, this is one that I recommend right here. It's really, really good for what you're going to pay again in that $40 price range from the house of Lacoste. This one is Loam Intense. All right, and the next fragrance on the list today, we're going to go uh, choose one from the house of Killian. I chose one from that house. Again, this one is one that nobody talks about this fragrance, but it's one that I really, really uh, like and recommend is called Liaison's Dangerous uh, Typical Me. Liaison's Dangerous Typical Me from Killian. Man, this one, very, very, very unique uh, scent to me. It's very, very, very unique. Uh, I've seen people talk about this one and compare uh, the opening to this of like a hairspray, <laughs> which is kind of funny. I can kind of see where uh, they're going with that reference, but it's so much more than that. This is a very, very, um, as I said again, a very, very unique scent DNA that you get uh, with this one right here. And again, it's one that nobody really, really talks about. And some of the notes in this one are peach, plum, black currant, coconut. I think there's a little bit of vanilla on the dry down as well. So it, it kind of does things uh, to me uh, in a little bit uh, of a different fashion than your normal uh, Killian fragrances. A lot of the Killian fragrances that I have and that I really like are uh, more heavier, uh, of course, uh, boozy, uh, these kind of gourmand fragrances. And this one kind of goes in a different direction, but I like the direction that this one goes in. This is definitely a unisex fragrance. So uh, if you're a person that, that doesn't really uh, like unisex fragrances, I wouldn't recommend this one. But if you don't mind smelling unique and standing out and being different, this is one that I recommend hidden gem in my collection that nobody really talks about from the house of Achillian. This is Liaison's Dangerous Typical Me. All right, so next up on the list today, guys, we're going to the house of Mont Blanc. And for the record, let me go ahead and say this. Mont Blanc, to me, made some of the uh, best quality fragrances that you're going to find in that $25 to $50 price point. Most of their fragrances you're going to be able to pick up uh, somewhere in that range. So for what you're going to get for the price, 
These are some dynamite fragrances to me, and this one is from the house of Mont Blanc, and this one is called Mont Blanc Presence. Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc Presence. Now, it could be that this one isn't talked about as much because it was released in the year of 2001, but for whatever the reason, I want to shed some light on this particular fragrance because it's really, really good, man. If you like uh, fragrances that kind of fall in that fougere category a little bit, there's a little bit of a, uh, a kind of traditional vibe, a very masculine uh, traditional vibe and characteristic that this fragrance has when it starts to dry down. But by the same token, it's a little bit powdery. Uh, there's some notes in this that I really, really like. Uh, tonka bean, uh, one of my favorite notes, cinnamon. I think there may be some sandalwood in here as well. Uh, and also heliotrope. But man, I'm telling you guys, this is just a really, really nice scent. One for the price that I would really uh, put in the category of fragrances that you can wear when you dress up. So if you dress up a suit and tie, and you don't want to spend a lot of money, I would add this to my collection. If you don't mind a fragrance that's uh, got a little bit of a powdery uh, type of tone to it in the opening, uh, which I don't, uh, this is one that I would really uh, highly recommend. This is a dynamite scent, and again, you can pick this up for around that $25 price point. From the house of Mont Blanc, this is Mont Blanc Present. Guys, and the number one fragrance on this list, uh, this is the best of the list, regardless of price. And you can find this one. I found a gift set of this stuff for $21. $21. I love this stuff. Let me, let me just show you what it is. From the house of Salvatore Ferragamo, this is Aqua Essenziale Blue. Aqua Essenziale Blue. Listen, guys, this fragrance is absolutely fantastic. Listen, it it does remind me a lot of Blue de Chanel, the EDP. It does not smell like the Parfum, does not smell like the EDT. You know, I did a comparison and I broke down uh, the differences to me between the EDT, the EDP, and the Parfum, which to me are very noticeable differences. But this one reminds me of Blue de Chanel. EDP, the EDP. If you want to find a fragrance, guys, if you are a fan of the uh, Blue de Chanel uh, EDP, pick this one up because, again, I found this in a gift set. Where was I? I think I might have been in Burlington or someplace like that and found this in a gift set for $21. Now, I feel like I stole it. I feel like I stole it. Once I got this home and really started to wear this, I've been throwing it on quite often because I so, so much enjoy this scent, DNA. This fragrance was done by uh, the infamous Alberto Marias, and you can see the quality in it. So it's inexpensive, but please don't get it twisted that it smells cheap by any means or stretch of the imagination because it doesn't. Uh, this has like tonka bean in it. I know there's some ambroxan, uh, some bergamot in the opening. I think grapefruit as well. Uh, some similar notes that you would see in uh, Blue de Chanel. Uh, but guys, this right here is a hidden gem. If you don't have this, if you like that Blue de Chanel kind of DNA, please don't walk by this one. If you see it in the store, go ahead and pick it up because I put my stamp of approval on it for sure. For sure. From the house of Salvatore Ferragamo, this is Aqua Essenziale Blue. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time. Thank you so much for taking the time to uh, listen to me as I brought you guys six fragrances that are hidden gems in my collection. I always appreciate your time and attention to these videos because, of course, I understand you could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're right here with me. And I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take the time to like, comment and subscribe and share these videos out to folks that you think could use this information or find me entertaining, whichever works for you works for me. Because I'm your guy, Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good. And, of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.